What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is the second video I'm dropping on the iPhone 7 Plus today, which means it's going to be a pretty good day. So iOS 13.1.1 just got released, which is kind of funny because we just got 13.1 on Monday. So I honestly wasn't expecting to get another update so soon. But what's cool about this update is that it wasn't too big. It was about 70 something megabytes. As you guys can see, actually it was 82.8 megabytes coming from 13.1. So not a huge update at all. That's why this video is not going to be 50 minutes long. And the Apple just states, you know, includes bug fixes and improvements for your iPhone, which is completely true in my case. I truly do think this was a pretty big update, even though it was kind of small. And the reason it was big was not because it brought a lot of features, not because, you know, it fixed, which it could have fixed a ton of bugs. Maybe this is why the results that I'm having. But I feel like at the end of the day, it sped up my iPhone 7 Plus, both in, I mean, it's kind of like a placebo effect. As soon as I ran the benchmark, I noticed it was faster. But I'll show you what I mean, okay? On the score I got before, I think this was the Gold Master, the official, maybe 13.1, let me see. So September 10th, whichever that one was, I think the Gold Master at the time, I had a multi core score of 164,541, which isn't a bad score at all. I think it's actually pretty decent. But then I went and I reran that score and look at the score that I'm getting now, 192,319. I mean, we're going, I mean, we're talking like a 30,000 point increase going from one update to another. I mean, that's crazy. And it's not just on my 7 Plus, on my iPhone 6S, I saw a speed increase. On my iPhone 7, I saw a speed increase as well. So it's pretty crazy that we're seeing these speed increases come just from one point point X release or point X point X release, you know, just a very incremental update at the core of it, but I'm really, really happy they were able to do this. Do I see it? I mean, like I said, maybe a little bit, but that could just be the placebo effect. Like maybe it's just whatever. But at the end of the day, it's a good phone still. I mean, I'm glad Apple pushed an update so quickly after the last one, which a lot of people weren't even complaining about the last one. You know, a lot of people were complaining about the original one, but this one seems to be pretty good. So ultimately, at the end of the day, what I'll tell you is if you're on 13, I would highly recommend you to go up to 13.1.1. If you're on 13.1, I would also recommend you to update. The only reason I would recommend you to stay is if you're waiting for a jailbreak, but even then, I would probably would just tell you to go and update, honestly. But at the end of the day, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, leave it down in the comment section below. Hit that like button. That would mean so much. But definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it would mean so much if you guys could hit that. Also, check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel. All those links are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out. But more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. And hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out to them.